everyone, my name is Elizabeth Cadnice, and I'm an Associate Professor of English at Community College of Philadelphia. My colleague Kate Sanchez and I have written the College Mindfulness Workbook, and we are so excited that you are interested in learning more about it. This will be a video that gives an overview of the book. So first of all, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is simply awareness. And oftentimes we go through our lives and we have trouble really being aware of what's happening, you know, with us, inside us, around us. And this is a book that's helping students build awareness skills. And the research has shown that when you help students build awareness skills, they are more successful in their lives. And Kate and I have found, and others have found too, in they are more successful in their educational experiences. So this book is intended to help students build these skills to be successful in your classrooms and beyond. So the structure of the book as a whole, the structure of the book is, um, it includes a table of contents, and then it has an introduction to mindfulness, a brief um, essay about mindfulness, essentially, and its relationship to education that you can read or assign to your students. And then after that, there are some testimonials that talk about what our students have found valuable about mindfulness. And then we have 15 chapters, which are mirroring a 15 week semester. And each chapter contains multi-sensory mindfulness activities. I'm going to go over the structure of the very first chapter because that structure really mirrors the structure of each of the subsequent chapters. So the first chapter is called Beginning. It starts with a self-assessment where students rank how stressed they are, and they can talk about what's going on for them in, inside, in their educational world, really anything at all that comes to them, there's space for them to write about that, to get a sense of center and a, have a little moment of reflection in their busy lives. There's then an activity called Live With Intention, which is asking students to write an intention for a given class, like in this class, I'm going to write I'm going to ask one question. So focusing on small goals, slows students down um, and helps them within individual classes. There's an activity asking students to engage with their senses. There are some classroom um, centering poses. So basically really basic classroom yoga. Um, there's a coloring page where students are thinking about the quotation, anything is possible. Each chapter contains a mindfulness reading, and this, cha and this chapter contains a poem about beginning uh, called Prairie Spring by Willa Cather. And then finally, this chapter ends with a quotation to contemplate. So every chapter is really a mix of these different types of activities. Some of the other chapter topics include creating space and time, communicating, building emotional intelligence, being well, persisting, all topics that come up for students uh, no matter what classes they are in. So just to give you a sense of a few activities, this is from a chapter called Construction, Constructing Relationships, and it is a connections tessellation where students color the tessellation and then um, rip along the perforation or just bring their book to a partner and then they can um, put their tessellations together and compare their artistic choices. The mindfulness reading in this chapter is a panel from the graphic novel Fun Home and students are thinking about the challenges that come with um, so doing creative activities alone and the challenges that emerge when we try to connect with each other. There is an activity about how to email mindfully in the chapter on communicating, which can really help students to learn how to write emails that are well received and get good responses. And then here's an example of a class meditation for focus. So there are a series of classroom specific meditations in the book that are intended to either be read aloud or even read silently by students to um, create a sense of center and change the energy in the room if needed. So those are just a few activities in this book. If you have any questions, please reach out to me or to Kate.